Here we have a 2006 Land Rover Freelander in green, starting with the offside front tyre. Looking at the tread depth on this tyre, we're looking at about 4 to 5 millimetres of tread there. Looking at the offside front alloy, taking a look at the condition, there's no signs of any curbing, very minor scuff on the outside there, but that's very minimal, lovely condition for the vehicle's age. Looking down the offside of the vehicle, now there is one or two small dinks, there's a bit of a dent on the rear door as well, uh, which we'll show in a second. Looking around the offside front arch, you've got one or two light scratches on the paintwork here uh, that will require a polish. As you can see, some scratches on the bonnet as well. Driver's mirror, a couple of scratches on the edge there. They are plastic though, not much you can do about those. Uh, looks like it's had a bit of paint here on the driver's door. Um, so it looks like it's a bit of paint. You can just about see that in the reflection. A couple of scratches there will require a polish anyway. A couple of scratches below the driver's door and on the driver's door itself again just requires a bit of a polish. A little bit of wearing there on the door edge. Again, a couple of scratches on the rear door there. You've got your roof bars on top. Also got a sunroof which is a nice feature to the vehicle. Again, you've got some light scratches on the top there as well. Rear passenger door, a couple of light scratches, nothing too serious. Door edge looks fine. Moving towards the rear quarter again, all looks very well. There's some light scratches there on the rear quarter again just require polish mud guards on the back rear tire again we're looking at around five millimeters of tread looking at the offside rear alloy very light curb mark there on the outside edge apart from that the rest of the alloy is spotless so again lovely condition for the car's age moving towards the rear end of the vehicle as you can see on the back here you've got your spare tire again brand spanking new not been used You've got rear parking sensors, again the back looks lovely, there's no sign of any damage at all there. There's a slight bit of wearing on the sensor there itself, one or two light scratches on the rear quarter here and on the boot. Now taking a look inside the boot itself, as you can see, you've got five tyres here that all come with the vehicle. As you can see there's plenty of tread, it uh, looks like a mix between summer and winter tyres. But as you can see there's lots of tread on the tyres here um, and they do come with the car. So not all only do you get a nice car, you get five sets of tyres with it as well. Um, I have had the back seats down to check the condition of course. Um, obviously full leather interior, they're very nice, just needs a bit of a clean, no signs of any damage. I've taken a picture of them anyway so you can show, uh, have a look at that in the, uh, the picture library for the vehicle. Uh, but yeah, five tyres with the vehicle which is nice. Near side rear tyre, again we're looking at a good 5 to 6 millimetres of tread there. Near side rear alloy, there's a little bit of curbing on the outside edge of the alloy there. Looking around the rest of the alloy, it does appear to be very clean. Looking down the near side of the vehicle, we've got a very uh, small, good sized dent on the front passenger door. It's more towards the front down there, again I'll show that in a second. Apart from that, it's just a couple of light scratches going down the paintwork that require a mop and polish. A lot of them really are too heavy, so it shouldn't really be an issue. But we've got light scratches going down the front passenger door here, most likely some head scratches. Uh, but looking down here, you can see you've got a very deep scratch that's gone well into the paintwork. And this is where the dent is as well, as you can see there. So it's going to require some work. Front quarter, again, some light scratches going down. Front tyre, a good 4 to 5 mils. So plenty of tread on all the four tyres. And looking at the uh, near side front alloy, one or two scratches and marks, no real sign of any heavy curling of scuffs. Front of the vehicle, we've got some scuff marks here on the plastics, again not too heavy. Large scratch there, I can just about get my nail into that, so that might require some smart repair. Front bumper, there's no signs of any damage. Again, you've got some scratches there, or some stone chips. So it's going to require some touchings of paint, and again a good polish, as there's some scratches on the front there. We've got a small dent in the bonnet, as we can see just here, probably done from a stone, and again some light scratches on the bonnet itself. Now taking a look in the driver's seat, again full leather, very slight bit of wear in there to the bolster and there as well, again that's just age related marks. Um, front passenger seat is the same, with just a slight bit of wearing, no signs of any damage. And of course you've got your sunroof there, headlining's not in too bad a condition. Dashboard etc is all relatively tidy, a little bit of wear into the gear stick and the steering wheel is not in bad condition at all for its age either. As you can see you've got Harman Kardon sound system which is a nice feature to the vehicle. Stepping inside the car itself, and now we do have two sets of keys with the car, or well, four sets of keys as we can see, and just getting the vehicle started up for you guys. 
no issues at all starting the vehicle to start first time. 87.533 on the clock, so again not bad mileage for its age. Now as you can see we do have navigation, it says navigation has been activated, please observe RTR, but it does ask for the nav CD. Unfortunately I've looked through the vehicle, um, we've got no nav disc in the vehicle, unfortunately it does require a nav disc. Uh, radio works perfectly fine. Sounds great with the Harman Kardons, as you can see down here, you've got heated seats as well. Air conditioning comes out nice and cold. All the blowers work fine. Manual box, and quickly showing you the sunroof. As you can see, folds back perfectly fine, with no issues at all there. And again, lovely for a nice sunny day like today. Taking a look at the paperwork, looking through the V5 for the vehicle. The car's had three owners. It does come with an MOT which expires at July 18th 2015, so a few months left on that. And service history wise, as you can see you've got 10,000 there, 17,000, 29,000 again at Stratstone, 41 there at Shukas, so there's some franchise stamps, 53 at Shukas, 65, and your last one there at 80,000 miles. So mileage wise, done around 7,000 miles ago. But plenty of service street with the vehicle. There we go, guys. That is the 2006 Land Rover Freelander HSC. Some lovely spec to the vehicle, and it's not in bad condition at all.